Hey guys, what's up? It's Cole, and welcome to my summary of the Tokyo Fan Fest 2024 keynote, where I'm going to be covering all of the juiciest details and announcements. If you want the details about the brand new caster job, which was fully announced as the Pectomancer, which means that my prediction was right, which I am so happy about, they said that it couldn't be the Pectomancer, but the wand animation was too smooth, but that video will be in the description and the pinned comment because I already covered it. Dawn Trail's theme will initially be about helping this brand new female Rothgar who is the daughter of the current ruler of Tural in the Rite of Succession which spans from north to south and we will be traveling the entire content from that north peak to that south at the bottom and they specify that the city Tuliolo will be a literal or have a literal bridge that they showed in the CGI Pictomancer reveal attaching the north to the south part of the continent. We're going to be able to meet this Roth gal in patch 6.5 part 2 which is going to be coming on January 16th. This patch will give us a 24 hour maintenance to add in stability and server upgrades which they stated outright that they are looking at things like more items and more housing for this. They also showed many new areas, some of which we saw in past fanfests, and then they covered new areas including what I can only call Cyberpunk City, and guys, ah, you don't care. I will not stop asking for housing here. This map is called Solution 9, and my jaw dropped when I saw this. This will be another player hub similar to Tuliolo, they said, so we're going to spend a lot of time there. I am absolutely in love with this theme. Uh, if anyone knows what I actually do for my job, like my past and all that, oh my god, this is perfect! So they stated the name to Solution 9 is just very important and I am so, so hyped! And then they also showed art of a new area called Heritage Found, which I'll just have in the background here playing. They're also adding even more allies and the people who live there include the Mamul Ja, which they emphasize have a lot of diverse peoples with different cultural norms and features, and that they actually stated on the stage that they're really interested to see how players react to like all the different tribes and like cultures of the Mamul Ja. And so that's going to be very interesting. I am curious why they're so... I, I, we gotta see what they're like cooking here. They stated that the level cap will be raised to level 100 and that they're going to be adding new combat content which will include fates, the hunt, treasure hunts, side quests, and of course dungeon content that will be playing in the background footage some of these guys. Oh my god. Uh, duty support will also be expanded which will obviously include Cryo who has Pictomancer being able to battle with you. New threats and monsters are going to exist too and that there is going to be brand new gear and recipes as with any new expansion showing some of the job artifact gear. There's going to also be new lifestyle content added which they show in the image but also state that there will be many planets involved around this lifestyle content and that they said that there's going to be like some kind of progression system with planet to planet which I think is really cool but the name of this has been dubbed as cosmic exploration which can be played solo they said however they said that it is intended to be played with other players and with each update the star that we're working on will change and so I'm thinking it's going to be like a combination like a hybrid between island sanctuary and the Ishgardian Restoration. I'm really curious to see what they've taken from those learnings because Ishgardian Restoration was well over two years ago at this point, and so I'm really curious to see what's gonna go on with that. There will be a brand new Alliance raid that added that is Final Fantasy XI themed, and so that is gonna involve a lot of things. They stated that the character that's shown on the screen right now is called the Shadow Lord, and so that is gonna be super cool. I'm really hyped to see what they do with Final Fantasy XI themed. There's also going to be a brand new raid series, an eight person raid series, which I am absolutely beyond in love with this aesthetic like it's just the same thing i said at the city i'm such a fan of what they're showing so far guys like i'm a for more reasons i'm gonna get into in this video here i'm a just a huge cyberpunk fan always have been and seeing this and the raid theme alongside the main hub i am so ready for this savage will be as they stated during this keynote also like this expansion launched one month after the expansions launched so it's going to give everyone time to like set up and get everything good for that there will be a new ultimate raid added in dawn trail and i'm sorry i'm going to take two seconds to go on my soapbox with planning and development already ongoing for this raid this is like the perfect ultimate raid for me so i began this like channel like roughly around like when i was doing like shiva savage like e8s oh my god it is literally Eden themed and it has like the my, my like <laughs> I make the joke like my favorite lesbian couple with Reen and Gaia there and like I, I'm not even gonna lie like even in the recent MSQ when they finally showed up I was like oh my god it's like a breath of fresh air like I love these characters I have literally baked their coffee biscuits in real life I don't care what it takes I need to do this ultimate <laughs> oh my god this theme you know what this is like just the theme I didn't I, I, it wasn't even a possibility in my mind for it to like already be like jumping to like this theme but you know what it's here and so 
I don't care what it takes, and I have proven myself in T and Uwu on my own, and he's just like, you know what? I am so freaking ready for this. I don't care what it takes, but anyhow. I'm just so excited about this. This is such good news to me. Other battle content being added is Blue Mage updates, even more Hildebrand, new deep dungeons, gold saucer updates, PvP updates, and new variant dungeons. So there is a lot more content coming, obviously. The developers stated that they are adding in Dawn Trail, similar to Bojan Eureka, a type of content called Field Operations. And guys, this expansion is so for me. I do not care. I'm just, ah, I'm so actually overjoyed. I'm gonna stop myself and focus on the details but I am so freaking ready for this. I I'm just so excited. <laughs> I have missed this content so bad, this expansion. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I, I This is some of the biggest news for me. <laughs> now, they also showed a lot of graphics updates for a lot of the characters. I'm gonna just put the like images here. I'm gonna say, like, especially the Rogadin faces. Oh my goodness gracious. Like, I think that the Rose are like probably the most noticeable for me and it is a huge huge thing for me like the male and female both of them I, I i found it super striking like even the light on the nose regardless very well done across the board but i think that the rose that was what truly knocked me off my face like the before and after is sh striking then they showed dye channels with some examples which i'm gonna put on the screen right here obviously dye channels guys there's so much more that we would see than I can say. And so we all know what die channels are. They look freaking amazing. They are a huge addition, which obviously we're all gonna use. So this is great. Then they spoke about the Xbox beta test in February. The current plan they stated was to start around the 21st, but they didn't want to be held to that. So don't plan for the 21st specifically, but plans may change a few days in either direction before or after. So they haven't committed to a specific time yet. I think this is obviously healthy to the game, getting more people into the game. Xbox has a ton of people. Not everyone, especially in this economy, let's face it guys, like not everyone has the ability to get a PlayStation, a PC, and then also get an Xbox. It's like usually you have like one console. And so this is such a healthy thing for the player base in my opinion. I think this is great. They then announced and gave the date for the Final Fantasy 16 collaboration. Don't kill me in the comments. I already know that things are gonna get spicy just because I like saw the YouTube chat as well as was watching this. It is gonna be in April, it is gonna be in April. But uh, they said that they want to plan it before the hype peaks for Dawn Trail. Uh, we know that Dawn Trail is going to be sometime in the summer, uh, but they haven't committed to an exact date there, so that is going to be the time plan. And then we're going to be ending this by talking about female Rothgar, because why not? And this is one of the most anticipated races ever. They went for the more like dominant, more like Resident Evil had that one lady character. We all know, if, if you were on any form of social media, you had heard Death by Snoo Snoo and, Snoo Snoo and like all the different things. <laughs> So they went that way, which I think is amazing. You know what? There are a ton of lesbian people that I talk to on a regular basis that want this. There are a ton of straight people that I know that want this. There are a ton of furries. <laughs> uh, so you know what? This is gonna be freaking great. I think that it is something that we have sorely lacked in this game, and I think that's gonna actually be pretty popular. You know, there are a lot of people that I know that have been like foaming at the mouth for it, so I think that this is great. And here, yeah, that does it for this summary. I got under 10 minutes, guys. I got it under 10 minutes. I am actually genuinely excited for this. Like, this is not BS. This is not me putting on a face. I am so hyped for this expansion. Although, it's gonna be a long six month wait, so guys, like, let's be realistic. We are currently in a content drought, so keep that in mind. But when this expansion hits, I feel that this fan fest hit every single note that they possibly could have to make me happy, and I am actually thrilled. So let's hang tight, let's stay strong. Dawn Trail looks freaking great.